Hello, this is Nest Tilson. In this video, I would like to show you a specific function of Polyboard 6. That is the possibility to move hardware to a new position independently of the rule that actually places the hardware in the model that you are building. Here we have a cabinet in which we have the a typical configuration of a high tall cabinet. So Polyboard has used a rule to put in hinges and we have one hinge at the top, one at the bottom and one plumb in the middle. This is pretty good for most circumstances, but in this particular case, we also have a mobile shelf, which is also positioned in the middle of our cabinet. So that the hinge is actually in front of the mobile shelf and the mounting plate will be actually in the same place as the mobile shelf, though that just won't work. If we were in Polyboard 5, we would have to make a specific rule for placing just this particular hinge. In Polyboard 6, it's more supple and we can actually just move individual hardware components as necessary on the fly. If I go back into my cabinet edit mode, I select my door and I click the links it has to the right side of my cabinet and I choose fitting links. We can see that Polyboard has put us up a little 3D drawing on the screen. And on the 3D drawing, if we zoom in a bit, we can see that the Polyboard has actually highlighted the right side, making it green. And we can see the actual hardware links that are linking the door we've selected with the right side. And we can see we've got three hinges and one of the hinges is in blue. And this is the hinge which is actually active, that has been selected that we can actually work on now. We can see that the, uh, there's three of them, one, two, three. Each hinge has got a number and we can scroll through the different numbers by clicking on the box here. So number two is this one, number three is this one, and I can go back up here. What is interesting me here is in fact the number two. So go up to number two, click, zoom in to number two that is now blue, so showing that it's active or that it's been selected, shall we say. Now we have a little box here called active. If I untick this box, the hinge actually disappears. So we're actually taking away that bit of hardware and we're only got two bits of hardware on this door. It's not exactly what I want, it's a big door. We would like three hinges on it. So I'm gonna activate it, but here we have a, a value field where we can actually put in a number. So if I put 100 in, for instance, see the hinge moves down 100 mil. If I put minus 100, the hinge will move up 100 mil. And so it's just a simple way now of moving this hinge to exactly where we want it. 100 mil is pretty good for this door. Let's click OK. We can see it's been moved up and we can see that if we look in 3D, the hinge is now way above the shelf and no bother to put this shelf in the middle and have this door with its three hinges. So you see this is really now a neat little function, it makes it very easy to adjust the exact positions of hardware when they are conflicting with some other element of your project.